The one I have in my hand just now is Rox. Uh, this one, uh, the name Rox was really to encourage people to drink this with ice. Normally you would not drink single malt with ice because ice kills the flavour. But in this one, I was thinking more an early evening style single malt. Coming home from work, you want a long drink, you want something fresh and fruity. So I decided to make this one very young and frivolous. frivolous. They, this is a vatting of three different ages. There's five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds in this whiskey. So it's quite young, uh, with the majority of the whiskey being seven-year-old. So there's no age statement on it. What I've done is I've, the whiskey has been in American oak casks uh, for most of its time. And then I've transferred it from the American oak casks. I've vatted the five, the six, and the seven together. Uh, <clears throat> and put them into Mouvedra red wine Syrah casks. And that's why you get that beautiful color, that slightly pink red tinge to it. So what you've got is you've got a lot of the American oak flavors, which is creme brulee, vanilla, toffee, a little bit of um, a bourbon will come through. You always find a little bourbon coming through from the American oak casks. And I've transferred it into the wine casks. And I've left it in the wine cask. This has been in the wine cask for nine months, the Syrah cask. And what that's brought is a little bit of colour to it. You know at Brooklady we don't use artificial colouring at all. We detest the stuff. It's good enough for Coca-Cola, but it's not good enough for Brooklady. Um, so the wine casks bring a beautiful sweetness to the front palate. On the front of your palate, this is the way your tongue works, you always pick up the sweetness at the front. And when you're tasting whiskey, one of the greatest tricks as a professional taster, if you could call me that, is always lick your lips. The lips are the most sensitive part. So rather than just taste it, just do a little bit in the front of your tongue, lick your lips. The lips are very sensitive. That's why kissing is good. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing it. It gets emotions going. So in a normal day, I lick my lips a lot rather than drink. That way I stay sober, you know, it's a lot easier. The nose is brilliant. Uh, always add a little water. First of all, you should nose without water. Hold the glass about a finger's width below your nose. Please remember to remove the finger. I was doing a master class in Tokyo when I worked with Santori and my interpreter was not very good or probably it was me that was not very good. She couldn't understand my language. So I was teaching the Japanese and I said to the Japanese interpreter, there's about 100 people in the audience, tell them, just don't put your nose in the glass immediately, just about a finger's wood. And she went, oh, yes, no, glass, oh, oi, finger. And I looked up, and there was 100 Japanese smelling their own finger. <laughs> Lost in translation. <laughs> so, when you're nosing, hold the glass just beneath your nose. The strong aromas are going to come up to meet you. They're rising up. If you put your nose into glass straight off, you know nothing about it. In goes the nose. You inhale deeply and then your eyes fall out. You have no idea what it's like. So don't do that. Just bring it in. Close your eyes. Concentrate. In here you have your factory computer, which can record 5,000 aromas. It's working immediately. And it's going to work out is this safe to take into the body or not? And right now, the, the, what I'm getting coming up there is the maltiness and the oak and the sweetness. It's lovely. And then you should taste it. People say, how much water do you put in whiskey? Or should you put? Well, what you do is, you taste the whiskey. Imagine this is your tongue. You taste the whiskey, hold it on your tongue four or five seconds, and then... What happens in the tongue is, when the whiskey is young, the heat is at the front of the tongue. Eight, nine, ten-year-old is at the front. Twelve, fifteen-year-old is in the middle. And as you're up eighteen, twenty-year-old, the heat moves back the older it gets. So what I do is take a little sip on your tongue, hold it for five seconds, get the heat coming from it, and based upon the heat you feel on your tongue, then you can work out how much water to add. There is no hard and fast rules. Some folks say, if it's 10 year old, you put this. If it's 20 year old, you put so on. You work it out. It's like you taste your food before you add the salt. It's the same with the whiskey. No 
professional in Scotland would ever nose whisky or taste whisky without water. It's just not done. Because what happens, I'll show you. I'll fill this glass up a little bit. I'm going to take you surfing. Brooklady is not chill filtered, completely unchill filtered. And he, in here is a lot of beautiful oil, which has come from the barley. As I add the water to the glass, just watch what happens. You'll see a wave forming. That's why I call it surfing. You see the oil moving there? You see that wave coming there? Now you see what's happened. All the oil has come to the top of the glass. This is the beautiful bit. This is the bit that won't fall off my finger at two meters for two weeks. So if it doesn't fall off my finger at two meters for two weeks, how long is it going to lie in your tongue? So, this is the reason we don't chill filter. If we were chill filtering, we would be taking this oil out. Why take the best part out? So, try that trick at home. It's good fun. Now, I've added the water. And I mix it well. Now it's safe to put your nose into the glass. What it's done is, the water has broke the surface tension and it's now allowing the more delicate, lighter aromas to come through. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it's the beautiful red, the nose of red roses I'm getting now. It's like cranberry, cherry, all these beautiful notes are in there. It's fabulous. So that is our uh, rocks. Um, as I say, try it with ice. Early evening, the younger the hour, the younger the whiskey. So you don't drink young whiskey at midnight, you drink old whiskey at midnight. So I hope you enjoyed that one.